Oregon, of course, filled with so many unique cultural experiences, including some of the ones you're seeing on your screen. You can help support those opportunities this month, and it can really pay off come tax season. We have Eileen Schreiner with the Oregon Cultural Trust joining us this afternoon. Now, Eileen, you can actually get a tax credit by supporting some cultural organizations. So explain to us how this works. Sure, absolutely. So, you know, in Oregon, we do things a little bit differently. We have, you know, something called the Bottle Bill. We started that in the country, and then we have public beaches. About 15 years ago, a bunch of people in Salem said, how do we incentivize giving to arts and cultural organizations? And they said, you know what? How about a tax credit? That seems to work. And so 15 years ago, the Oregon Cultural Trust was born. And the way that it works is that when I make a gift to Pittock Mansion, for mm -hmm. example, or the Portland Art Museum, mm. or the Oregon Historical Society, as part of my year-end giving, I can make a matching gift to the Cultural Trust. Now, part of the incentive piece is that I get it back as a tax credit. So essentially, it's a free gift. What we get to do with the money at the trust is re-grant it out across the state through county-based grants and through competitive grants. So it's wow. really a win-win. So great program. So if I'm thinking I can give money to, where do I find out if, if what I want to give is covered under this tax? CoastalTrust.org. There you'll find a list okay. of over 1,400. I was just going to say, there are a lot of them. A now, lot. Are there any stipulations on how much you can give or how little? There is not in how much you give to them. In fact, I'm sure folks would appreciate a generous gift this the time of year. The, the more the better. The more the better. The more the merrier. There is a limit on the tax credit. Chuck's, well, there is. Uh, yeah. A limit, I hope. They What's the limit? Chuck. It's pretty high. It's $500 for individuals and it's 1000 for a couple. And then if you're a classy corporation and charitable giving is a part of what you do, it's 2500 So it's actually um, pretty impressive. So if, okay. No, I was going to say, so if you go to the theater, if you go to, um, you know, the Snits, yes. if you go to Keller, if you go to the Armory, if you enjoy you shows, doing this for you hour. should be putting some money into this. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I yeah. mean, it's those cultural nonprofits that make a qualitative difference in our lives, especially this time of year when we go to shows together as a family. Right, of course. So we, when you support them with a gift, why not make a matching gift for the trust? What it does for you is it gives you a tax credit, but it allows someone else around the state to also benefit. And talk to yeah. us about what the trust has done with that money over the years. Absolutely. So last year we raised $4.6 million. Wow. Yeah, that's all from Oregonians saying this is something that's Wonderful. important to me. Yeah, wow. and then we give them out in grants um, over two million dollars last year alone, and we give grants out to counties and and their nonprofits. We give grants out to the big guys in the state, like the Portland Art Museum and Oregon Shakespeare Festival, and they also we fund the state agencies that provide important services, like the Oregon Historical Society, which serves the entire yeah. state. Yeah. So it's really about taking care of the cultural ecosystem in Oregon. Well, the website I one more time culturaltrust.org okay eileen schreiner thank you yeah. so support much support the arts yes. and culture <laughs> let's do it and